Hey everyone, Vince here, Saber Jiu Jitsu Blue Belt, and Drea, Saber Jiu Jitsu Brown Belt. So today we are going to talk about Jiu Jitsu Mat Enforcers. What are they and yes. are they needed? Yeah, I believe that Mat Enforcers are needed. I think that there are different type of Mat Enforcers. Basically a Mat Enforcer is someone who is at the gym that uh, helps the owner and the instructor with regulating the gym, managing the gym, keeping people in order, keeping things in order, and really is kind of looked at as the right hand person of the instructor or the owner. And you can have multiple types of mat enforcers. I think one mat enforcer type of person is an intimidating one <laughs> where you can kind of send that person to shut down any nonsense that might be going on in the gym or any anything inappropriate, any inappropriate situations. And they are intimidating because yet, there's sorry, intimidating yet balanced with being approachable and someone who knows how to talk to people because they have to do that very thing. Sometimes they have to split up, you know, an argument or a fight or sometimes they have to just be really straightforward with a person on the mat. It could be, you know, I've seen people come in, for example, as visitors and kind of be a little bit of like a punk and try to like roll hard with certain people and so you can send in your mat enforcer and be like go roll with that guy make sure that right. he knows where he's at type of thing or sometimes it's a person who can help you know with administration even or just like the cleanliness of the gym um, and then mainly kind of just talking to people who may be not overlooked but maybe need like um, just a little bit of not friend well friendship I guess is yeah. one way to say it but people that you know can talk to anyone really too. But a lot of times the mat enforcer is also kind of like a second eye over the mat and just really looks over everyone and helps the instructor and owner kind of take care of the gym just in a general sense, but really watches people and you know makes sure that nobody is out of order. And it just keeps unity, I think. They help keep the unity. They help um, kick out anyone that maybe need to be kicked out. So there's a lot of roles I think that a man enforcer has, but I feel that it is necessary, especially if you have a big gym. Most people will have multiple mat enforcers to help them out. And for me, when I think of a mat enforcer, I think of someone brand new walks into the gym, you know, whether they're brand new to the gym or maybe like a white belt and they're going like, let's say they weigh 200 pounds and then they are like using all of their strength to like bully someone that's a lot smaller right. that's also like a white belt yeah. and it's like hey you know take it easy there's no reason to go like that extreme right. the mad enforcer would step in and be like hey like yeah mm -hmm. calm calm down mm -hmm. or like hey i'm gonna roll with you now yeah so i'm gonna like so to show them right. like why you shouldn't necessarily like do that yeah or no that makes but... sense and that they don't even have to be a visitor it could be mm. within the gym itself right. and there's like new people or you know someone who's newer to the art and they are sometimes a bully coming in and so that man enforcer they might not even need to be told they'll be proactive and they'll be like i'm rolling with that guy because i just kind of watched him bully on a, on a smaller person so they'll make sure to kick their butt so right. <laughs> it's kind of cool actually and I then, think. And then mat enforcers, they're, they're usually like a bigger, like... Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Like, would I be able to be a mat enforcer? It depends. Yeah. <laughs> so, it so number depends. one, you have to have good jujitsu in order to be a mat enforcer. You can't... If, if you, you're that type of mat enforcer, yes. Because there's multiple kinds, but yeah, yeah, that type, yes, you have to be good at jujitsu. Right. Because, I mean, this is one of my goals. Not like a goal, but I think this would be cool, would be... Um, because I am a smaller guy, I weigh 130 ish pounds. And you know, sometimes you get people that come into the gym that are like, oh, you know, like, like my jiu jitsu is gonna be way better. Right. Or someone comes in, they're uh, uh, maybe like a bodybuilder type yeah. that's 250 pounds. Or just someone pounds. who's arrogant and like, yeah. yeah. And then I want my coach to give me the look and be like, hey, Vince, you know, hey. <laughs> Get over there, right? kick his butt. <laughs> and then just to show them how powerful jujitsu really is, you know. So, yeah, totally. uh, not that I, I'm not a bully. I am the last person from being a bully. But I think jujitsu is so, so powerful that you know once you do it and once you like realize the power of it, you'll realize how helpless you really are. Mm -hmm. um, but also that it's just a great tool for you know like defending yourself and everything like that. Yeah. So for me, that's definitely one of my goals is to become good enough to where the coach could be like hey this send you yeah. over yeah exactly so i was um, just kind of thinking about something you said i was listening to i 
think a podcast or maybe reading an article that uh, John Danaher spoke on or, or wrote, and he was explaining that jujitsu, when given to um, a bully, like you know, you have different different personalities, different people coming into a gym, and everyone learns, right? So when you give someone that power of jujitsu, and they you know they get good at it, and they're a person who's already a bully. They're now gonna be a bully who can use jujitsu against other people. So if you're a bully, you're still gonna be a bully. Hopefully, you would change. I mean, you know, you can learn a lot from being around people in your gym. You know, you learn how to be humble and things. But not everyone does. You know, so if you're a bully, you come into jujitsu, you have jujitsu, and you're good. Now you gave power to this bully. This bully has power. Or you can be a good guy, learn jujitsu, and and so on. You know what I mean? But it just basically gives you power no matter who you are. Power meaning like you know you can defend yourself and you can attack people. You know, yeah. so it's it's something kind of it could be dangerous yeah. for some. Yeah. I realize, yeah, that's so true. That makes me think of it enhances whatever your characteristics, yes. yeah, whether your whether good or bad. So if you're good, it's going to make you even better. If right. you're kind of bad and a bully, it's right. going to make you a worse of a bully. Yeah. So I've um, seen it like unfortunately, and that's why a lot of people get kicked out of gyms. You know, they're just naturally a, kind of a bully already, and then they become good at jujitsu. And then it's like, man, I don't even, yeah, it's just, yeah. it goes all downhill from there basically. So those type of people, they should not be in a group setting with others. Like if you're a bully, like you gotta get out. You know? right. Yeah, never, nothing ever good comes from that. So. Right, totally yeah. agree. Cool, perfect. Well, I appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks See guys. See you all later.